How you guys doing? It's Batman 2 x and today, since you guys know I just got a new iPhone 3G, I've been checking out the iPhone 3.0 conference, so I'm just giving you guys a quick update what the OS is gonna, the new, oops, sorry, what the new S is going, the new OS, ugh, OS is going to be offering, so, I don't have it, of course, but, of course, I don't have it, I don't own it, it doesn't come out until June, hopefully, of this year, so I can get it, but what they were talking about is... It seemed pretty weird that they're adding stuff, of course, that the iPhone should have already. Like, when you text message, you can finally do this. Text message. Finally have text message and landscape. Of course, now they're adding landscape to all their key, key applications. That's finally, I've been waiting for that forever. Next is cut, copy, and paste, which is something that another old phones, Windows phones, I've already had for a long ass time. But Apple is just releasing, and everyone's thrilled. So I don't see myself ever using cut, copy, or paste. I don't know why. But what you do is say there's some text, you double tap. It's going to zoom in, it's going to have a little bar on the top saying cut, copy, or paste. And you can cut, select what you want to cut, copy, or paste. Um, now you can forward messages, so if you get the message, oh, forward this to 10 people or you will die, you can forward it to 10 people and you won't die? I don't believe any of that crap, it's stupid. Um, next is single deleting messages, so now if you ever have a text message a text message you can single delete it single delete messages within a conversation because before you'd have to delete a whole entire conversation you can't just single delete within the conversation okay finally MMS so now if I want I can go to my photos go to my camera roll Select a picture, and if I want to send this dang picture to someone, I can. I can now finally send it. Which is, finally, something. Voice memos, which I don't... Eh, I don't know why you have voice memos, because I don't think you're going to need... Oh, I need to... Let me think. Um, I need to check my mail in two hours. I don't think you're going to need voice memos that much. It's something old other phones had too, but it's adding it, voice memos, which, I don't know, some people will use, some people won't. That's pretty good, but whatever. Um, shake to shuffle, you know, something the iPod Nano had. Shake, change the song, shake another song, you know. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm probably going to use that. A thing that I'm going to use that I could not, I was been waiting for forever, is updates to the YouTube. YouTube login. You can check your subscriptions. Oh. You can check your subscriptions. And you can view profiles finally on YouTube. Been waiting forever for this. So, and I think they're going to add landscape to YouTube, um, which is something I've also been waiting for. Some updates to the stock apps. No. I'm not much of a stock person, so I really don't care about the stock apps. You know, I'm not, oh, let me check the stocks of uh, Apple. Yeah, I really don't care about stocks. Um, spotlight on your phone. That is what I've been waiting for. If everyone, if anyone owns a Mac, you know you have this program that you can search in between the things. So if, like, say you have a song, say you have an, a program called, let's say you have, like, four or five different search engines for Twitter on your iPhone. Or and you want to find a specific one and you don't want to be like say you have massive pages full of apps you don't want to be scrolling and you don't know where it is you just click spotlight and type in okay twitter and search and it'll find the program it'll find all the twitter things you have and you can search through there and it'll also look through contacts through music and apps it'll look through everything and mails and messages all that stuff it's like a big search in one just one little thing uh, finally Finally, also, finally, also, sorry, I had someone enter the room. 
Finally also, stereo Bluetooth. I've been waiting forever. Right now you only have mono, I think it's called Bluetooth, mono Bluetooth, I'm not so sure. Don't want to misinform you guys. We have mono Bluetooth. Um, and you can connect to like headphones, I think. I think, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it even has Bluetooth. I'm not 100% sure, I just got the phone. But yes, you can, we're going to have finally stereo Bluetooth. Um, and now Wi-Fi auto login. So this is like if you have, like let's say, Starbucks or, or something like that. If you have a Wi-Fi account on Starbucks and like say you want to go to Starbucks and you don't want to log in, you can have Wi-Fi auto login. So anytime you go to a Starbucks, you can just automatically log in. It just, oh, I'm in Starbucks. Do, do, do. Wi-Fi turns on from your Starbucks account. I guess that's pretty cool. I'm not going to be using that that much. Um, also, push notifications. I'm going to be using that a lot because, of course, I want push notifications because I want to know what's happening, what happens, and all that stuff. Basically, okay, let me show you uh, how I can explain this. I like big football, you know, football season, you know. I like watching football. And my team is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know, Florida, the Bucks. And I will get notifications, you know, kind of like a little thing you get when you get messages or S SMS, you know, uh, messages, you know, mail, all that stuff. Those little white ones and twos you have on top of the thing. You're going to have that on an application telling you, okay, click it. You have a notification about your team. So you go in there and it'll tell you the new stuff. So it's basically, you're getting basically a notification. That's why it's called push notification. That's basically the basic way I can explain it. I don't know any other way. Uh, note sync. I don't know why the hell we need note sync. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to sync my notes to my PC or my Mac. Because I never even take notes on this thing. I don't need notes. It's retarded. But hey, some people use notes. Some people don't. Whatever. Next is turn by turn GPS. I see that working for people that need turn by turn or don't have turn by turn in their car already installed. They can use their phone. But it's a great feature, but I can't drive, so I won't use it or know what to be using it for until I am a driver, which is not that far away. But let's hope I can use it when I start driving. Um, next is in app purchase. Um, if you guys know PlayStation Network and Xbox Marketplace, that's like DLC, downloadable content. In-app purchases, it's say you own this game, Pocket God, which is a game that people have wanted me to, I got asked to re-review and do like some type of on it, so I purchased it, and I'm doing that review, that's, that's for you, buddy, got it, reviewing it, should be up in a week or two, a bit, maybe by the end of this week, not a week or two, just by the end of this week, should be up, not this week end of next week whatever you guys know what I mean um yeah if you own this game and see you want to get some new downloadable stuff for it I turned it off quit if you want to get some new stuff for it like new levels new add-ons that's what that is for in-app purchases so basically you it's giving companies a chance to charge you more for stuff that they don't want to put into the final game basically that's what DLC is for and that was just basically the overview of what I got of the 3.0. So let's do a recap. You have stock updates, cut, copy, paste, landscape keyboard on all key applications, forward messages, single delete messages, MMS, voice memos, shake to shuffle, YouTube login, subscriptions and profiles, spotlight on your phone, stereo Bluetooth, Wi-Fi auto login, push notifications, note sync, turn by turn GPS, and in-app purchases. Which is kind of like DLC. So this is the iPhone OS 3.0 overview. This is Bad Matt 2X. Stay tuned for more. Peace out.